Moin und willkommen zu dieser neuen Episode. Now, are you ready to learn in today's episode how to build a successful habit to improve your vocabulary? Ja, bist du prat? Dann lass. Now, we find comfort in having a habit, right? Think about what you do every morning after you wake up. I assume that you follow the same routine every day. But why? Well, because we like having the routine. And not only do we enjoy the comfort of routines, but having effective daily habits allows us to make progress and ultimately meet our goals. But as you and I both know, starting a new habit is really tough. Even if we have a goal we really want to achieve, like becoming fluent in Luxembourgish or taking successfully a language exam. Not only that, but it can also be difficult to know if you are making progress. How do you track your progress? Well, in this lesson we are going to answer those questions so that you first can easily create an effective habit that helps you meet your Luxembourgish goals and know without a doubt when you are making progress. Discover three simple steps you can take to build an effective daily habit. Let's start with step number one. The first step toward building an effective habit to help you meet your Luxembourgish goals is to connect the new habit with an existing habit. No, that sounds more complicated than it really is. Let's talk first about the habit that you want to create to help you meet a goal. For example, maybe your goal is to read a book in Luxembourgish. The habit you would create is to read something every day. Or perhaps your goal is to increase your Luxembourgish vocabulary. So the habit becomes taking time every day to practice specific vocabulary. In both cases, you are attempting to add something new to your daily routine, which might be time to read or time to practice vocabulary. Usually, when we want to start something new, like uh, that we simply say, I'm going to start studying for 30 minutes every day, or I'm going to read for 15 minutes every day, but we don't really identify a specific time when we are going to do that. And as a result, we don't commit to it. You surely know what I'm talking about. <laughs> a more effective way to build in a new habit is to think about your current routines, maybe your morning or evening routine, when you already have time alone without distractions and you can commit to some focused time. If you can identify a current habit that you have and connect it to this time that you want to practice vocabulary or spend time reading in Luxembourgish, you are stacking your habits. You are finding an opportunity where your new habit fits perfectly with your existing habits. Let me give you an example to make it more clear. I'm certain that in the mornings or the afternoons, part of your routine includes a coffee or a tea break, right? So you spend a few minutes every day drinking a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. It doesn't really take a lot of focus to do that. So perhaps you could add another habit while you are having your break. For example, you could read one page in a book or write down one new vocabulary word and you build in a new habit of practicing those words words. When you do that, you are stacking your habits. You are incorporating a new habit into an existing one, you see? And as a result, it's much easier to start that new habit and do it consistently. Consistently, sorry. Let's continue with step number two. The second step to building an effective daily habit is to start small. So really, really small. So when we aim to implement small, bite-sized habits, they are more likely to stick. To make a habit stick, or alternatively to stick to a new habit, means to do it daily and consistently so that it eventually becomes automatic. Just like brushing your teeth every day is automatic. You don't think about it, you don't stress about it, you just do it because it's what you do every day. And the goal of creating a new habit is that it follows the same pattern. It just becomes something you do every day. 
So let's go back to those ideas of building a habit to meet a Luxembourgish goal. For example, reading every day so that you can read a book in Luxembourgish. A small habit would be to read one page every day or read for five minutes every day. Similarly, if your goal is to increase your Luxembourgish vocabulary, a small bite-sized effective habit is to practice just one or two words a day, again, maybe while having a coffee break or commuting to work. Daily practice guarantees that you get the repetition you need to be successful and may progress eventually reaching your goal. And this is exactly what you will practice in our self-study online course where I um, prompt you always to repeat after me, to write down the new vocabulary and to practice on a daily um, basis. In the show notes below you will find all the links to our self-study online courses if you would like to study with us. And now let's finish this lesson or this episode with step number three. It is very important that you track your progress, so you need to celebrate your successes. And when we are starting a new habit, particularly related to language, we don't always see what we are doing. So you know you are practicing Luxembourgish regularly, you know that you are going to classes, but you still feel stuck, frustrated, nervous or shy. So why do all that work if you don't know that you are making progress? Let me tell you a mistake I did when I was learning English. When I first started, I was extremely diligent in writing everything down. Grammar structures, a lot of new words I wanted to remember. And the benefit of doing that was after some time passed, maybe one month or a few months, I could go back, look at my notes and say, oh my gosh, I've done so much. I remember when conjugating verbs was difficult for me, but it isn't difficult anymore. My progress was clear. Now the mistake I made was at some point I stopped doing that. I no longer had a written record and no longer had demonstrated proof of my progress and as a result I lost motivation, I got frustrated and I wanted to give up. And I am so excited to help you build your Luxembourgish vocabulary through an effective daily habit. So first, create a progress tracker where you write down what is the new habit that you want to start and also what month is it. And then you track it every day that month. All you have to do is write done or a check mark every time you do it. Again, by doing that, you are giving yourself a visual reminder of what you should do every day and you are tracking your progress. I'm certain that one of your goals in Luxembourg is to build your vocabulary. So number two, I want to help you how to do that effectively with a weekly planner. So take a sheet of paper and write down the new words or ideas that you want to remember and practice for one week. Then every day there's space for you to write down some example sentences or different ways that you might use that new language. So it is important that you not only write down a new vocabulary word, but make sentences with that word. Not only one sentence, do two or three sentences. And then following this pattern gives you that repetition to create automaticity. So the ability to use that new word automatically. And try to, to create one new page for every week, so over a month. And when you complete those documents, so the progress tracker and the weekly planner successfully, you've developed concrete proof of how you've increased your vocabulary that month. And that's how you will stay motivated. And then you can do it again the next month, of course, and then the months after as well. Now, are you ready to get started today on increasing your Luxembourgish vocabulary and build an effective daily habit? Yes. 
And uh, I'm also happy to share with you that in my online course A1 Foundation and in my complete program from zero to Sprachentest, you will get for each uh, module a uh, progress tracker, which is already ready. You just have to download it and also a weekly planner to help you build on this effective daily habit. Now, I hope that uh, you found this episode very interesting and uh, that you are motivated now to start your new Habits. Merci fit no lauchtre. Thank you for listening. Bis next woche. Adi.